What is inheritance? Well, inheritance is all about how characteristics like eye colour uh, get passed on from one generation to the next. They get passed down in your genes from your parents. Some characteristics are controlled by a single gene, but most are controlled by many genes, or what we call polygenic interactions. As already mentioned in this course, your typical human cell has 46 chromosomes in the nucleus, and they can be arranged into 23 pairs, as shown in this diagram here, one from your mother and one from your father. Therefore, you actually have two versions of every single gene, one copy from your mother on one of the pair, one, one half of the pair, and one from your father on the other half of the pair. Now, these are what we call alleles, these copies of genes to versions of genes. So the gene may code for hair colour, for example, but you could have a different allele for that gene from your parents. One for blonde colour, maybe from your mother, and one, from brown, and one for brown from your father. So for example, here are a pair of chromosomes, maybe it's pair number seven, and one from the mother and one from the father, and they're showing two different alleles. So the genes are in the same position, those little uh, darker lines that have been shown on the chromosomes, but you can see they're slightly different versions of that gene, so they're what we call alleles, different alleles. Now the question is then, what characteristic will I get if I get one of each allele like this? Will I get a mixture? Well, that seems logical, doesn't it? But to answer that question, we need to learn more about how inheritance actually works. Now, actually, alleles can be dominant or recessive. The allele for brown hair is dominant and the allele for blonde hair is actually recessive. So if I inherited both alleles, brown from my father and blonde from my mother, but, um, but because brown is dominant, I would end up with brown hair. However, it's important to remember that I'm still actually carrying that blonde gene. I'm not expressing it, okay, it's not there, but it's still in my genes, still in every one of my cells, and it could still end up in my sperm and be passed on to my children. So that is why sometimes you see characteristics skip generations, because they're being passed on, but in the person who's got it, they've got a dominant allele, which is masking that characteristic. Now, in order to explain inheritance further, you're gonna to need to learn some new vocabulary. Um, we need to know what the following words mean. Phenotype, genotype, homozygous, heterozygous, monohybrid cross, and if you're doing paper two separate bars, you also need to know about something called co-dominance. So let's start with phenotype. Now the phenotype is the actual characteristic expressed by the person's genes. So my phenotype for hair is brown. My phenotype for eye color is green, and my phenotype for nose shape is very large, straight. The genotype is the combination of alleles that a person has that codes for that specific phenotype. The dominant allele always has a capital letter, and you use the lowercase version of the same letter to show the recessive allele. So I have one allele for brown hair, which is dominant, so I give it a capital B, and one for blonde, which is recessive, so I give that a small b. So my genotype is whatever that combination is, which in this case is big B, little b. That's my genotype, and that would code for the phenotype brown hair. Now it just so happens that in this case, brown and blonde both begin with B, but let's say we were looking at uh, eye colour, and we said green was dominant, I would have to use big G for the dominant one, and then let's say I inherited green and blue, well for blue I'd have to use little g. You always use the small version of the letter you choose for the dominant allele. Now, if someone has two of the same alleles that make up their genotype, we say they are homozygous, okay? So you could be homozygous dominant, that big B, big B, brown, brown, or homozygous recessive, blonde, blonde. If you have one of each allele, like I do for my hair colour, then we call that heterozygous. So it would be big B, little b, it would be heterozygous. So using these words, you can describe somebody's genes that can then explain their phenotypes. Now, if you're doing separate you also know, need to know about co-dominance. Now, some characteristics are actually caused by what we call co-dominant alleles. This is where neither allele is recessive. So what you end up is, with is actually a combination in your phenotype. So for example, you can be blood group AB. Not A or B, but both. If you inherit one A and one B from each of your parents, you will end up with a blood group called AB, a mixture of both. And so they've both got capital letters because actually they're co-dominant. That's where the word comes from. So you give them both capital letters. 